welcome to part two. Hey guys, welcome back to part two on this European style swim pond here in Saugerties, New York. I'm here with Alan Decker from Decker's Pondscapes out of Pattersonville, New York. We've worked together on many projects. This is our second big swim pond collab, right? Yeah, in the last two years. So if you guys haven't seen what, how we got to this point, check out part one right here. But we're at the point now where we're hoping to finish the actual interior of this pond. Today? Well, on this, on this, <laughs> oh, yeah. on this episode. Oh, on this episode, yes, for sure. <laughs> I was gonna say, wow, he's killing me here. Let's talk about yeah. some, of the, well, some of the challenges. First of all, we had a heavy rain last night. So this morning is clean up and then get ready to work. So we always lose a bit of time in the morning like when we have events like this with the rain. But <clears throat> we've got some pretty cool ideas as far as things we want to incorporate into this pond. Let's kind of go over that. All right, so one of the cool things is because our wetland is going to be up into here and really the owner wanted this to all be straight up and down. So we got a seven foot section and a four foot section. Traditionally in our recreation ponds, we got shelves and things and, and areas where people can get in and out of. So what we're going to do is we're going to have natural stone um, slabs cut that we can actually cantilever out of those walls so it can either be like a bench or if you wanted to jump off of it into the water but it's probably going to be about two feet underwater level which is going to be cool because most adults and teenagers are going to be able to sit on those things and your heads are still above water but I think it's going to look really cool when you're looking through that water and you just see those ledges jutting out so there's going to be two on this side one over there and that one over there is going to be right next to that infinity edge looking at that beautiful view out there so as cool as that's going to be with those pieces sticking out on this left side and one right here where alan was mentioning that infinity edge so the water from the pond will be skimming over this edge and dropping down a series of big waterfalls with natural style boulders and eventually there'll be a lower patio down there where you can sit and kind of take that whole thing in but look at the hudson valley out there as your view even with the fog it just looks gorgeous at the far end there is going to be a staircase coming out of the pond we're talking about doing a big slab down the bottom that could be almost double as a bench so that may be about like three and a, maybe two and a half feet underwater and then it'll transfer up to a staircase coming out of the pond down the road there is going to be a whole structure built here it's going to be a house that's going to be shaped kind of like a z going around the pond talking about doing a cantilever deck over that entire side of the pond which will be really awesome with all those windows looking out over the pond look like you're living on the lake and of course then you'll have the views going down into the valley these huge blocks that we're using came out of missouri this is a missouri limestone it's been milled so they're all the same thickness at 12 inches we are building this formal style pond with these big blocks there's a lot of backfill that happens here with gravel and we're gonna have some geo grid to actually have tie backs into that gravel making it super stable we're hoping to get a lot of this block work done today let's get it rolling this motley crew they might be a motley crew but they're a good bunch of hard-working guys heck yeah just what america needs <laughs> <laughs> and that's just what this pond needs <laughs> we're in america yeah these guys all kick some major butt today we got kyle jason anthony jason oh we got two jasons jason burleson and jason marks and we got billy Harmon, and of course alan Four days in and we've got all the base block. We jumped up to the four foot section. That is all done. We're ready to lay uh, like another, what, 200 blocks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so this uh, this is actually a native limestone to New York. It's uh, probably only about half an hour, 40 minutes from here. And uh, for our company, we buy this regularly. And it, the cool part about it is, especially underwater, is all these fissures and lines in there. So when the kids are under there snorkeling, they're gonna be able to see all that stuff. It would be kind of cool if snails and stuff kind of coagulate on those but um it just gives us so much more character 
Not that there's anything wrong with the stone we're using, but when you mix in a little bit of a natural element to a formal, it, it really enhances it, I think. I think what's great about these two is this is we're standing in seven feet of water right here, right? Over your head. <laughs> the kids can actually swim up and like get up on these boulders and stand up and again look over that negative edge towards the valley or see the waterfall going off the backside. This pond is a big rectangle and ha adding these boulders gives it a bit of interactivity. So now they can actually like find areas they can get up out of the deeper water, like the seven foot section. This whole section here is four foot deep. There's going to be a, a deck that cantilevers over that. And we're going to incorporate more of this natural limestone on that back wall just to break things up. But for a formal looking pond, this is pretty, pretty cool. It is. It's going to look sharp. We got all bluestone capping coming for the top of it to give it that formal look that the, that the owner wants. So it's going to be classy with a bit of natural element. Classy natural. That's what we do. See you guys tomorrow. Starting out day six today, and the pond is really coming up to level at this point. This is the top course where the negative edge will be going out over the waterfall. It's gonna get one more layer framing out each side of it. Then we've gotta carry that level all the way around the pond. We've got a couple shelf rocks that are being fabricated right now that go in places like here, and there's one over here, there's another one on that side. We are kind of waiting for those right now. They're still not ready yet. So that's gonna be something we have to work around. We'll end up putting the block work in and maybe just cut that to fit when it gets here. A lot of the lights have been cut in already. That is gonna look fantastic when it's finished. That light just shining out from the wall, nice and neat tucked in. We're hoping to get pretty much all the block work done today, all these big limestone blocks. Now we're gonna use upwards of 100 tons of this stuff and it's expensive block. It comes all the way from Missouri. Just the trucking alone is over $20,000. So that'll give you an idea and kind of where a lot of the costs are coming from. And this block is quite expensive. Then we've got things like the boulders we're gonna need for the waterfall, all the liner, the pumps, the plumbing, all that. So a project like this gets quite pricey very quickly. This is definitely not on the DIY scale. I understand some people say they can build their swim ponds for $10,000 or $20,000. I guess you could if you dug a hole and put a liner in it, but when you're trying to fit it out like this, the price is much, much higher than that. Anthony and Colby are getting started on cutting every single one of those blocks so we can start fitting them. We'll get them strapped up, get this pond finished up today. This is a serious wall. We're at full height right now, seven feet from top down to the bottom. And I can already imagine what it's gonna be like when it's full of water. Over on the far side here, this is where our wetland filter is gonna be. It's gonna be back behind there. We're starting to frame out where that wetland waterfall is gonna be. This will be a frame rock here. And you can see we've already cut this rock. So the block slides in right behind it. That's a really nice fit. Speaking of nice fits, look at that light, beautiful. This is not gonna be a big waterfall. I talk about six inches to a foot, kind of flowing in here, just a nice little ripple before it comes across the pond. Over on the far side, opposite the waterfall, we are starting to frame out where our negative edge is gonna be. So this is a frame rock here. Again, Alan spent a bunch of time and cut that rock so the block slides in right behind it. 
that's an intense amount of work right there to make that happen. Then from there, we're gonna stretch about 15 feet. From there, all the way across to here, we'll frame that side as well. That's gonna be where the water flows out. The water's gonna be about nine inches thick going through there before it heads out those waterfalls on the backside. We are at a bit of a standstill right now with finishing the wall because we're waiting for those big bluestone slabs where they're gonna have some seating areas. We've got one there, one here, and one right here. We can't finish up this wall work until we get those guys in, so that's really putting a cramp in things. Tomorrow, what we're gonna do is switch gears and move down to the bottom side, start digging our reservoir for our negative edge waterfall. We'll be installing the pump vaults and getting it ready to build the waterfall until we get those big slabs. You're gonna have to come back for the next video to see where we're at with that. Hit that subscribe button, come on back. Hit up Alan over at Decker's Pondscapes. I'll link that below. See you guys on the next one.